by the time I got that leotard on, the class was over. <laughs> but I did go to one class. I did not, I stayed for the whole thing, half hour. I did not lose one pen. The only thing I lost was my will to live. <laughs> so I don't take any advice anymore. But by the way, do you remember when we used to say to men, look, but don't touch? Yeah. Now we say touch, but don't look. <laughs> You, you think about that, because that's an absolute truth. That, did I tell you the last time when I was up that Marty got really mad at me and he said when I died he was going to put on my headstone, there lies Barbara, cold as ever. <laughs> He's so silly. Isn't that silly? Women outlive men. <laughs> because they're not so anxious to stick around. But I said to him, when you die, I am going to put on your headstone. Here lies Marty, stiff at last. <laughs> he asked for this. No, no, no. He, he did ask for this. But I've got to tell you, when Marty and I had our 50th anniversary, he said to me, look, we've been married 50 years, and I really want to know the one thing we don't lie to each other. Have you ever had an affair? Have you ever cheated on me? I said, well, being as we're honest, honey, three times. He went three times, what? Then he figured that. Three times, 50 years. Eh. So he said, well, what was the first time? I said, do you remember when we found that wonderful little house when we had been married a year? And we could not get the mortgage, and the banker just wouldn't. Said we didn't have enough money, wouldn't give us a mortgage. Do you remember that the next day he called and he said we could have a mortgage? <laughs> that was the first time. And then when I got upset, and then he said, you know what? That house led to other houses. And he said, when was the second time? I said, you remember when you had the heart attack and you needed open heart surgery and we had no coverage? You remember that? And then the doctor called us two days later and said he would do the operation. That was the second time. Oh, well. It did save my life. He said, well, what was the last time? He said, do you remember how badly you wanted to get on the school board? He said, yeah. I said, you remember you only needed 32 more votes? <laughs> Did you men know that anything you say after you're sorry is just the beginning of a new argument? <laughs> remember that, because it's true. But he got even. He did, he got even. Which I didn't even know. I'm cleaning one day. <laughs> That's the joke in itself. <laughs> I'm cleaning and I pulled over the bottom drawer in his desk and I saw three golf balls and $800. He came home and I said, honey, I found three golf balls in your bottom drawer. What, what was that all about? He said, well, I got to be honest with you. <sighs> Whenever I cheated, I put a golf ball in the drawer. Well, I was indignant, but I figured we had been married a long time. Three golf balls, not so terrible. I said, what's the $800? He said, every time I got a dozen, I sold them. <laughs> tit for tat, guys, tit for tat, what can I tell you? I said to Marty, this morning, I said, uh, what are you doing today? He said, nothing. I said, you did that yesterday. He said, I wasn't finished. <laughs> you see, this is what you get with marriage. Oh, I have to tell you about Dr. Ron. Amazing on board the ship. She is fantastic. I was sitting out. You know how you sit in the lobby there, or kind of in the hall. And 
a woman, old woman, <laughs> listen to that, and an old woman bent over, walked in, holding a cane, she walked in and the nurse said to her, doctor will take you now. This woman's in there for about 10 minutes. She walks out. She walks out of Dr. Wagner's office like this. I said, oh my God, that's a miracle. I went up to her, I said, what did the doctor do? She said, he gave me a longer cane. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to tell you that because she was just wonderful. But I really, I did bring something up here. Oh, by the way, it's very hot in Florida and we're going there. But I just want you to know that Marty got, we live in Florida, Marty got out of the shower. He says, boy, it's really hot. And he had nothing on it. He said, what do you think the neighbors would think if I went out here, stark naked, and mowed the lawn? I said, did no, I married you for your money. <laughs> but I want to just reach this. I got this email from a very dear friend of mine. She said, Dear Diary, she's all prepped for a cruise ship. She said, All well, my nicest dresses, swimsuits, short sets, really exciting. Our local red hat chapter decided on this all girls trip. Day two, entire day at sea, beautiful, saw whales and dolphins, right? Met the captain today, seems like a very nice man. Day three, at the pool today, I did some shuffleboard, hit golf balls off the deck. Captain invited me to join him at his table for dinner. I felt honored, had a wonderful time. He is very attractive and very attentive. Day four, dear diary, won $800 in the ship's casino. It's a fairy tale. <laughs> Captain asked me to have dinner with him in his own cabin. We had a scrumptious meal complete with caviar and champagne. He asked me to stay the night, but of course I declined. I could never be unfaithful to my husband. Day five, dear diary, got in the pool again today, got sunburned. I went inside to drink at the piano bar, stayed there for the rest of the day. Captain saw me, bought me a few large drinks. Really charming, again he asked me to visit his cabin for the night. But again, I declined. He told me that if I did not let him have his way with me, he would sink the ship. I was shocked, shocked. Dear Diary, day six. Today, I saved 1,600 lives <laughs> twice. I just want to wish you were all, all. You've all become friends. May you have love to share health to spare, and friends that care. Thank you.